your judgment on 20th of As the war on graft hits a new high, trapping its net high profiling leaders in the country, Campbell Governor Fernand White Titu and his Samburu counterpart Moses Lenol Kulal found themselves on the list that now threatens to maim their political careers. These, after the were charged with corruption, and the high court barred the county chiefs from accessing office, making it impossible for them to perform their duties. Nothing else, my lord, for those reasons I had... And Wednesday, each appeared before the appellate court with a plea to have the ruling overturned. According to Lenol Kulal's legal team, the high court was seeking to unseat him through the back door, insisting the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act protects governors from suspension. YT2 arguing his county is in a crisis and that his deputy cannot perform some functions with his absence, bringing unnecessary power struggles, slowing down development. So now, on the ground, however, a section of members of the county assembly read from a different script, insisting operations were running seamlessly. Kiambu County can do without Waititu himself, it can do without Waititu as a person because. All operations have been carried out by the CCs. We have an executive committee. We, they do cabinets. We have the as assembly. Even as the motion to impeach YT2 gained momentum. Including Samburu. Do not let one man hold the whole county government at ransom. We cannot allow one person to sabotage the whole county government. Because this is a government. It's not a, a, a somebody's kiosk. It's not someone's home. So we want to say that I want to move the motion to impeach YT2 so that he vacates completely. Shortly after YT2 was barred from office, his deputy, James Nyoro, assumed the role in acting capacity and announced a cabinet reshuffle in quick succession. Kiambu County has two million voters. And Nyoro could not have allowed a whole government to have vacuum or to be like the people of the other officers who think now YT2 is gone, we can do anything. He was supposed to come in and rectify all the mistakes that were done by Waititu and his administration, and he has the, the power and the right to reserve for anyone. A Campbell resident has since challenged the martyr in court, saying it set a dangerous precedent, arguing that the deputy governors will usurp the authority of governors every time the latter is either sick or temporarily away. Appellate judges Daniel Musinga, Agnes Murgo, and Gatsen Bukairo declined to temporarily allow the county chiefs back in office until they deliver their judgment on 20th December. It's a rekindled war against corruption, but all eyes remain on the courts to determine if persons mentioned adversely should access office. From Kembu County, Rose Gakuo, K24.